Hello everybody, today I'm going to be talking about the Nuttiest Nutcracker. Now if you're new here, consider that to sub and ring the bell. So if you've seen other YouTubers on YouTube talk about this movie, and I want to share my thoughts on it because I grew up with it when I was like really little and stuff. So yeah, let's get started. So the first thing I want to talk about is the plot. So the thing about this movie is, is that my biggest problem with it is the plot. The plot is way too complicated. So what I can understand from the plot or the basis of it is that Marie hates Christmas. She's like the main character. And Reginald, the Rat King, wants to get the star, or he wants to steal Christmas. And that's basically the only thing I can really understand that much because this movie really jumps around a lot. Like, it's just like, there's, it's basically just stuff happening because stuff is happening. It's weird because I grew up with this movie ever since I was like four or five years old. And I've watched it every year up until like last year. It's very crazy how much the kid mind can change watching these type of things because... When I was a kid, I really liked this movie. And I didn't realize it was like an older movie because it was it came out in 1999, so I wasn't even born yet. But uh, I remember seeing this movie every year up until last year. And when I saw it last year, I was just like, this is not good anymore. So the plot is the biggest problem, in my opinion. It's just so much going on in that 48 minute runtime. And I almost want to describe it as filler, even though it's only 48 minutes long the movie is. But yeah, so the plot is the biggest problem. And there's just so much going on. So the reason why I think it's very weird is because they want to get the star back up on the tree, but basically they do all this stuff, like going to the Candyland type section. I don't know why they needed to do that. But the thing is, it's very weird because one of the scenes is like, uh, like I think it was uh, when Marie was going on the top of the tree and uh, Reginald was like going down on a ladder. She had the star right there. So basically they didn't have to go through all this Candyland stuff. They could have just climbed up and then went to put the star on the tree. It's just, I think they only did it because I don't think the writers even cared. It's just like, hey, it's just the nuttiest nutcracker. We'll just make a quick buck off of it. It's crazy because like Jim Cummings is in this movie. I don't, I think it, I think he plays the uncle and it's just, I could hear his voice. And Jim Belushi is in it too. There's a couple like big names like Tress McNeil, the person who plays Dot in Animaniacs. It's just, I think they just did it just for a quick buck. Maybe not the actors because I like a lot of those actors, but I think they just did it just because it's a Christmas movie for kids. I could also recognize Trex McNeil as, uh, what was, what was the nuts, the small nuts name with the hat? I'm not sure, but I'll have to look that up, but I can recognize her voice. I'd say you're not a very good artist. I didn't draw that. Well, whoever did needs to go back to school. Max right. we got to help her. We just got to, even if she's not a nut. Yeah, so the plot is very weird. Like, it's just like, basically a lot of stuff going on in that 48 minute runtime. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the plot because, and there's so much going on to the point where like, it's just like, it's, it, I can't even comprehend what's going on. I'm like, how did, how was kid me like understanding this? And I don't think that's what it was. I think it was just more of me just liking what was going on the screen, even though I didn't care about the plot and stuff. And another thing I want to talk about was the animation. So. I think this is the part that has aged the worst because remember when I was a kid, I really did like like the colors and stuff. But looking back at it as an adult, it's really bad animation. Like even for the time, it was bad. Like things were coming out like uh, Toy Story and all that. It looks bad. Like the animation is not good. I was about to say that it hasn't aged well, but I don't think it has aged well ever. Like, I'm not gonna say it's like food fight level of animation. Oh, I need to review food fight. Uh, that would be a good re review. It's starting to enter that territory where it's just like 3D. They didn't know what to do with the 3D animation. It's kind of like that, but I don't want to compare it to food fight because food fight's the worst animated movie I've ever seen. But, uh, yeah, so the animation is really bad. It's just like, it's not good. And it's just, I think they were also like ripping off some things from like VeggieTales and stuff like that. 
Because another thing I have a problem with in this movie is there's way too many characters. Like, with like the oranges and all the nuts and stuff. I'm surprised they actually managed to put that many characters in, in that span of time. Because most of the characters have no point to be there whatsoever. Like, I don't know, I don't know what the Red Nuts name was, but he was like watching the time to like make sure that they get the tree back on, on time. That's like the only nut series of characters that has any significance whatsoever. I don't even know the names of half of these characters. Like, the only two no ones I really know are Stash, or something like that, uh, Marie, and Reginald. That's all the ones I know. And I couldn't just look them up, but I just want, I don't want to be stupid, or I don't want to feel stupid. It's just very weird how many characters there are. Like, it's just like, why do they put in so many characters? And it wouldn't be a problem if these characters have a little bit more personality, but 90% of them, like the nuts and like the oranges and stuff, there's no point for them to be there. It would also be a little bit more helpful if they uh, had a little bit of a longer runtime to kind of personify these characters, but they just don't have enough time to show all these characters have personalities. And I, even if that was the case, I still feel like it's too many characters. Like, it's just basically impossible to have that many amount of characters and give them each a distinct personality in this 48 minute minute runtime it's just impossible yeah so that's another problem i have with it is there's too many characters and if there was a lot less characters it would maybe help a little bit but most of the characters i feel like are really pointless are the ones like the oranges and like the asparagus and all those things like there's no point for them to be there the only ones i can really think of that i kind of had a point were like when they were doing the uh battle against like the toy soldiers and stuff uh against like the the rats and i'm like why does this have to be happening like there's and where did those soldiers come from anyway like it's just like they don't explain things it's kind of like the nostalgia critic thing where he was reviewing uh i think it was uh quest for camelot and i i like that movie though even though it's bad he says explain like that type of thing like it's just like they don't explain things and i might be going a little bit too harsh on this movie but it's just like it's just like how did i ever like this as like a kid it's just very weird but yeah so that's the only purpose i really had the purpose that the characters with the oranges and stuff had was when they were doing that quote unquote battle with the toy soldiers and stuff and the rats that's basically one thing is that yeah just too many characters it's just too short if they wanted to kind of like have these extended characters and like have a lot of characters they should have at least increased the runtime by like 30 or 45 minutes i would want that personally to not go insane it would kind of explain the characters motives a little bit more because to be honest they don't really explain why the closest explanation of why reginald wants to steal christmas is because of the mother and stuff and it's just like it's and it's just too short they don't have time to explain all these things that are going on in the movie because it's too short and even though i would hate if it was longer at least it would kind of justify explaining the stuff that has been going on i'm sorry if this review is kind of jumping around a lot but it's just very weird how much this movie I grew up with, and then I realized this is not that good. But yeah, so that's basically the review of Nutty as a Nutcracker. I'm sorry if it jumped around a lot, but I just wanted, kind of wanted to talk about this movie. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.